Today we're going to be taking a look at and also showing you how to install the Roadmaster Roadwing removable mud flap system. Available in several different sizes for different vehicle configurations. Now the Roadmaster Roadwing is going to be a really good solution to help save whatever it is you're hauling. Whether you've got an enclosed trailer, in this situation we've got an RV towing a car. On road you're going to have debris, on paved roads you're going to have debris that come up, rocks, little pieces of dirt, sand, stuff like that. But then you get off road you're going to see gravel coming up, you're going to see dirt out in the mountains trying to get over some of those passes. You're going to have a lot of stuff that especially dual rear RVs or dual rear wheel trucks are going to be kicking up. Now this is also going to come in a size that was going to work for your full size trucks and SUVs and your mid size trucks and SUVs. So regardless of what you're hauling in those situations you're probably going to be hauling a trailer whether it's an enclosed trailer, maybe you've got a boat or motorcycle behind there. Maybe you've got a race car in the trailer and you just don't want stuff being kicked up on it. These are going to provide a really good solution. Now all of these are designed to fit around a 2 inch by 2 inch shank. So whether that's going to be on your ball mount, this is our tow bar for our flat tow setup, or even if you want to protect items in a cargo carrier, maybe you don't want stuff bouncing up on that. This is going to fit right around the shank. We've got two bolts. We've got one here, one located in the same place on the other side. These are going to take up any of the space in there, so you can see even when trying to move it, that's real nice and solid. We're not going to have to worry about this leaning side to side. Now the mats themselves are going to be 24 inches in total length. We've already trimmed these to work with our RV. You can see we've got them riding pretty good, about an inch over top of the ground. Now this is what our flap looks like. This is the part that we cut off of the one we have here. See it's a nice solid durable material. It has some flexibility to it but it's not like the thin rubber flaps that we see often installed. They've grooved the back. So you can see the side smooth. Looks like this. But the back that faces towards our wheels they've grooved that. Now the grooves run up and down on the back side of our mat. So they'll kind of be sitting like this and as debris comes and hits them, that's going to help to slow it down and direct it down and under our mat rather than having it just hit it, bounce off and potentially roll under the mat. Now in the rest of it we're going to have good sturdy steel construction, it feels nice and thick. Each end is going to be capped off so we don't have to worry about water or dirt getting in there and causing rust. And they've coated that all with a black powder coat finish. Now to get the road wing installed, you'll see that we've got the area right here that we're going to be passing the shank on our item. We're going to be installing this on a motorhome with a tow bar. This center section you're going to see in the expandable version. If you're using either the middle or the smaller size, this is going to be solid. Your arms are going to already be attached. As we slide this on, you see our bolts here. We're going to have those closer to our vehicle. Put it on loosely for now. We get this put back into position and we can resecure it. Now we're going to bring the, our section right up towards the rear of our vehicle. We can have a little bit of a space here. We don't want it to be too far back because then we'll run the risk of items bouncing over the top. You can see we've got our two bolts here on the bottom. We're going to tighten those both down evenly there. And then using a 14 millimeter wrench or socket, we can snug those up. Now you can see we've installed our mat to our adjustable arm here. We need to slide our arms into each side of the center section. On the non-expandables, you're just going to attach your mat using those four bolts. Now once we have those started, we're going to be able to move these in and out. Basically these are going to go anywhere from 102 inches down to 91 inches. I think you're going to be best suited to have the end even with maybe just past your bumper just depending on how wide that item is behind you. If you're a narrower kind of item, maybe you don't need all the protection on the outside so maybe you bring those in a little bit to give you a little bit more protection on the inside. And Once we've got those set where we want them, it's time to come through and we'll tighten up our bolts here in the middle. Now we're ready to get our road wing flaps cut to size. What you're going to do is measure from the bottom of your bar down to the ground and subtract maybe an inch, an inch and a half. Something to keep in mind, since we're doing an RV with a flat toe setup, 
we're not gonna really have any sag. So this rear bumper is gonna stay about where it's at. If you're using any of the other type vehicles or if you're gonna be hauling a trailer behind your RV, you need to allow for the squat. You hook your trailer up, generally the back of your vehicle comes down a little bit. So you wanna account for the sag plus about an inch. Now I've marked down the distance from the bottom of the bar to the ground. That marks right here. And then I've just put an inch and a half piece of tape on it to give me that inch and a half. I'm gonna cut right along that line. Just need a sharp knife to do it. We're gonna do just a couple shallow passes and eventually we'll have worked through cutting all the way through the mat. So if I just kind of flex that flap back a little bit at the bottom, we'll just keep working through. That little bit of flex will help, help it to expand, make it cut pretty easy. When we get done with this one, we'll go to the other side. And that's gonna complete our look at the Roadmaster Roadwing line of removable mud flaps.